Alrighty, and hi everybody! Welcome back to another fig review. Oh, Caesar! <laughs> He's here finally. I already got Joseph a while back, but you know, stuff happened. I got Caesar quite a bit later. We were a bit late on the game on that, and we got a little bonus surprise for Caesar too, because we got his pre-order bonus as well from good smile so we will be looking at that too but you know th these are this these are still my favorite uh the favorite part and you can't have joseph without having caesar that's against the rules so we're gonna open him up and look inside uh same small things from last time though where there is the like actual imprint design on the side and then of course like all the jojo text themes on there too now something as well that i didn't like immediately just draw my attention to because i see a nenroid and i go nenroid good smile these were produced like by by medicos they do the super action statues so something i figured i'd mention that i didn't mention before i didn't really know that what that meant previously anyways but it's just a small thing they kind of actually work and create it even though good smile still owns the brand blah 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 blah, blah. but Wow, it's a nice bright blue. Little ocean blue for a little Caesar. And so as per usual, so we can see what he looks like in his shell. Pretty standard whatnot. Now I'm very excited to look at his accessories because it looks like he comes with more than what we probably saw with Joseph. Because I do feel like, even though I really still like Joseph, all of his accessories you were able to put on display at once. There wasn't really anything extra. So while that might be a bonus for me because I like to not have many options to be honest, it is nice I know for people that do like to pose and do different things with their nanoroids often. And also, I mean, we're still paying monies for these so I can still want more and still also not want more. Ugh, I don't care. Here he is the boy but here he is um pretty cute of course because it's a nenroid i like all the colors on him um and i mean it's nice he's got a really nice design so what can you say right off the bat something i do just immediately notice his hair is kind of flat um especially compared to joseph's which had uh, actual shading i feel like inside all of the like crevices so that kind of stinks, especially too for uh, like blonde hair color. Um, I oftentimes orange or gold will kind of help just ele elevate it and make it lot not look so boring. The actual sculpt itself of the hair is still nice though. So man, it seems like I won't lie on the paint on this. It doesn't seem like at a glance like the best I've seen for a Nenroid. And again, even just kind of comparing with my expectations from when I got Joseph, it does seem like. It's not quite the same, which is odd. You would think since they were both made and produced kind of together almost, they would be uh, pretty similar. Either way, he is a fairly poseable Nenroid. Um, he of course has the joints in his elbow, uh, shoulder, and on his bicep. He does not have the torso movement that Joseph had, where Joseph had like a, where he could bend here. So that's kind of disappointing because I feel like it would look just as well on Caesar too because he's already got the indentation that would have just perfectly kind of covered that. Weird choices that they've been making for jo or for Caesar here. I'm already kind of suspicious, so to speak. His little knees can bend too. It's pretty stiff because of how f he got them fat pants, thick boys. And his feet, which don't move a whole lot because of the restrictions that I think the... Uh, pants put on it, but he does have nice little shoes. Nice little formal professional shoes. Very cute. They did do a nice job of putting all the little tiny details, like the actual um, rivets and like the knuckle pieces. Also, obviously the belt buckles and whatnot. So it's kind of, it's a weird flop where things are either really well done or not so great. And I don't love that. The paint really is kind of a miss on this i'm not gonna lie obviously n sh way sharper lines that we could be seeing now the face i do think looks good face looks fine he's cute little well 
He's very serious, so it's not as maybe cute as some other ones, but still. Angie. But let's take a look at some other stuff now that we got to look at the kind of awkward paint job. But let's take a look at his little faces. So he has angry baby face, so he can yell and be angry all the time. It's, it's, it's Jojo. You can't not have a yelling face. They yell like every other uh, second. And then he has this really cute smirking face, which I actually <laughs> like a lot. It's that open mouth smirk too, so it, it's it's just nice to kind of have. Yeah, I won't lie. This this is gonna sound mean, but I feel like the paint on this this is not feel like it's a good smile official. I feel like I have seen bootlegs that have paint similar to this. Again, I'm sure if you got a bootleg, it would probably look even worse than this, but still. Anywho, his face with his hair on, I like that a lot. Obviously, there's a lot of angry yelling faces. I probably won't use it, but I still think it's cool. So for any of y'all doing your action poses, it'll look pretty good. And then his smirking face. Oh, that's so good. And that's going to look really good with Joseph too, with his smirking face, because they look at each other with this. Oh. Oh, so good. So good. Joe bros for life. I do like his accessories. So we're going to start with the boring bits, which are little hands, little hands. As per usual, we got the fists and the open palms. So here are the two open hands. whoop de doo And then as well, he has his two chop hands. Chop, chop. So he can chop the bubbles out at you. Of course, he does have, which is probably just always going to be on him, he has his little headband so he can be flowing in the wind. Again, the paint is just, I don't know what is up with these triangles, but they were like, they were struggling, man. Oh, he's just got a whole hole. So this is always going to be in there, or you probably always would want it in there. Now, question is, am I just going to have Joseph posed next to Caesar with his headband in? And the answer to that question is yes. I want them to match. And then once it's in, it's, it's, I mean, it's set. You're good. Looks good this way. It looks good this way. So not too bad. The next little bit, he has his little bubble discs. So he can cut you and slice you up. You can kind of see there's the little rivets on the side to kind of give it that like uh, buzz saw texture I guess is the word I'm looking for. There's a hole in the bottom there that's just so of course you can put it into the base. And probably my favorite effect which I know on Cory because he has a super action statue but here is like the him making the bubble form. You can see it goes from the like kind of lime green to the purple and it's got the blue in the middle but still is opaque. I, I just really like the way this looks like the actual gradient effect. I'm assuming it's just gonna be oh no it does have a hole in it. I, I couldn't see it at first. It's kind of hard to tell next to like the bubbles but it will be like uh, on a stand too. I thought it was just gonna be resting in his hands at first. They do have this little separate base so you can put the effect pieces in and then of course there's the little unique base for it so pretty cool. I mentioned way earlier that there was a little surprise that we have because we got the pre-order bonus so boom look we got a little black bag hey oh this was more so for Corey because Corey really wanted the uh, pre-order effect because he as i mentioned has the super action statue figures and this this effect piece can really honestly be posed with both it's the little blood bubble with his headband in it rip a rooney so pretty nice. Um, honestly, I probably could be constructed a little bit better. I'm, I'm really going in on this one. This one's not as great as some of the other ones. Obviously, too, when you pre-order uh, and get the pre-order bonus, it costs more, and it's kind of like one of those things where it's you can see the the seam really obviously, and you're not ever gonna fully get rid of that. But having it be that white seam instead of just like fully clear obviously I mean you can see an, a cleaner plastic seam like there's obviously in some parts where like here it's all the same color 
here it's white you know um but whatever it's got the hole in the bottom you just bing bong and you have it floating now they didn't come with an extra stand for it so that kind of stinks because i know corey's gonna want to pose this and i'm gonna want to pose this so we'll figure that out later let's pose the boy so i will be back all right and boom bang they're together <gasps> now obviously i have them both wearing the headband but you know what i don't care i don't feel like taking it off of joseph right now and um best friend status means matching with your best friend too so that's just how it's gonna be really honestly still overall I, i'm glad i have caesar with joseph again the paint was not fantastic that was definitely a, a lot of bumps down especially when comparing to joseph where they actually did shade his hair i'm not saying that you shouldn't shade it but you could easily pass shading brown hair more than you can do blonde hair because blonde or white anything that's super light if it's not shading will just look so bland in comparison to anything that's shaded it was still good though i mean uh i just feel like maybe there was some parts that there was more care that was put into joseph even just for like the posing and like structure of it as well you've heard my thoughts the biggest thing is definitely the paint um and then maybe just this small little bit where they could have added that torso chest posing as well that would have been very easy to add i think or not and i'm just you know I don't know how to make figures that well, so whatever, but I, it doesn't seem like it'd be impossible, so sue me. Either way though, of course I'm gonna have pictures of them, they're gonna be on my Instagram, it's gonna be at Desunasis, so you can take a look. I already have pictures of Joseph up, so you can take a look at him up close, and now the lovely Caesar will be up too! Yay, Caesar! What? You can also check me out at these other places, you know, all that good stuff. I do make videos a weekly. It's usually figure reviews, but you know, some other stuff slides in every now and then. So if you like me or something, maybe you can stay around. I don't know. But I hope you had a great, fantastic last week. And of course, I hope you have a great, fantastic next week. Um, if not, I'm sending my wishes to you. Then you should, you should, you should, should have one. I'm, I am guaranteeing that you have a great week. Please don't hold me to that. <laughs> um, but either way, I'm really glad I got to share this with you guys. And I hope you have a great week. Bye. memes this time oh i do have a good meme oh you guys aren't going to be ready for this oh <laughs> they both will <laughs>